We can't heal the world today, but we can begin with a heart, a voice of compassion, a heart of love, and an act of kindness. Claim Mary Davis. This means that we are not able to cure everyone's problems, but we can use certain words and traits to help others out. To be compassionate is to feel deeply for someone else during their best and worst times. This is important for people who struggle to think or feel good about themselves. Most of the time, we find ourselves thinking we are not our best or doubting ourselves when we do not so, do so good on something. This is when we have our boost with someone compassionate who helps you through a difficult situation and brightens it up. Overall, one can be more compassionate with others by putting themselves in someone else's shoes, practicing presence, and practicing self-compassion. One can be more compassionate by putting themselves in someone else's shoes. By doing this, you can get a better understanding of what they are going through, whether it is pain, anger, or excitement. This may also help you to get to another person and will lead you on to thinking what you would want others to do for you when you find yourself in that difficult situation. According to the article, Empathy, Putting Yourself in Someone Else's Shoes It states, well-developed empathy implies not only understanding what other people are feeling, but also anticipating their response to such feelings. In other words, by putting yourself in someone else's shoes, you get a better understanding of what a person is feeling. This is important because you get to know how they feel and you get to help the person. This highlights the fact that you can be more compassionate because you are showing empathy for a person. Finally, it does not take much for someone to help someone else when they are in need. You never know when you will need the help. One can be more compassionate by practicing presence. When someone is there for you, you can truly feel it. So when a person offers their help, it is important to feel the person's desire to help you. Others would truly like to see that someone really cares and for them and understands them as well. This also includes not getting distracted or moving around all the time, acting as if you are not interested in the person's conversation. As said by physician Lisa Rankin, when you are truly present, your presence has a tendency to be experienced as compassion. According to Lisa, you are demonstrating to others that you care and are truly there for them when you are at hand. Evidence like this shows that you are engaged in what others are telling you and that you are willing to support them with anything that you may possibly need. This proves that you can be compassionate with others by practicing presence because you are involved in their conversation by listening carefully without having any distractions. Lastly, listen to what others are saying. You may be surprised with what you would hear and it may even captivate your attention. One can be more compassionate by practicing self-compassion. As you may already know, self-compassion is how you feel how you act after having a difficult situation with care as you should with others. Doing this may help you gain knowledge on how you can handle different situations with others. Having a clear understanding of yourself help you choose your words wisely when talking to others. Sometimes you may try helping others, but having negative thoughts of yourself may affect how words come out in your, out of your mouth. Based on the article, 20 Reasons Why Compassion is So Important in Psychology, psychology sorry, establishing such connections require the ability to express care and concern for other people as well as to identify with them. This means that showing compassion to others requires a lot from you. This indicates that you must be in a good place with yourself in order to assist others. And this demonstrates that in order to be compassionate with others, you should show compassion to yourself before anyone else. Overall, if you have an obstacle blocking you from thinking positively about yourself, it would be difficult for you to be compassionate with others. In conclusion, one can be more compassionate 
about others by putting themselves in someone else's shoes, practicing presence, and practicing self-compassion. These are a few steps to follow to show compassion to others. Remember, we can always use wise words and kind acts to make someone else feel better, but we cannot always help out with everyone's problems.